All right, so now let's look at this. Um, for example, too, they want us to kind of put these things in order, and they give us all these wonky numbers, right? So they said order um, 22, then pi plus, uh, pi plus 1 is actually a number. You're like, what? Yeah, no, it's real. It's like an actual number, right? And then they also want us to work with this uh, uh, four and a half, right? So if you approximate, I'm going to explain how to approximate it, and then we'll just do it in the calculator to see. So the first step is to approximate um, the square root of 22. So what you do is you start with um, 1 squared. I want you to write this down, though. 1 squared equals 1, which means the square root of 1 is 1. Um, 2 squared equals 4, which means that the square root of 4 is equal to 2. Um, 3 squared equals 9, so then that's the square root of 9 equals 3. Um, 4 squared, I'm running out of room, 4 squared equals 16, so that means the square root of 16 equals uh, 4, and then 5 squared equals 25, which means the square root of 25 is equal to 5. So the square root of 22 lives between the square root of 16, which is equal to 4, and the square root of 25, which is equal to 5. Does that make sense? So I wrote it out so you could see it, but they say it right here. The square root of 22 is between 4 and 5. But well, why? Because it lives between the square root of 16 and the square root of 25, which is actually 4 and 5. So I know I went kind of fast on that. How do you guys feel about what I just said? Thumbs up if you get it, thumbs down if you're completely lost. Okay. Well, the good news is you can plug it in your calculator. Uh, tell me, plug in your calculator what the square root of 22 is, real quick. Plug it in. I'll do it too. So if I say the square root of 22, I get 4.7. We'll round it up to 4.7, right? So this is actually like 4.7, okay? Cool. Well, that's bigger than 4. Point, or four and a half. What is four and a half? Yeah, 4.5, right? So, so we know that it's about 4.7 and look where they graph it right at about 4.7, okay? Now let's move on to the next thing. Pi plus one is the same as 3.14 plus one, right? So remember that pi is about 3.14. So then 3.14 plus one, right? Because that's what they're asking us should be about 4.14. So that's going to live between 4.1 and 4.2, so it goes right here. And then as we said earlier, 4.5 is the same as 4.5. So if you graph that on the number line, that's how you put those numbers in order. Okay? So the numbers in order then would be pi plus 1 first, then 4.5, and that's because this is about 4.14, comma, this is about 4.5, comma, and this is about 4.7. So when you write the decimals, it makes sense, right? Okay. All right. Um, that's that example. I'm going to do this first one with you guys. They want us to put them in order, so we got to graph them. So I'm going to cheat a little bit for time's sake. I have, I'm going to take the square root of 5, and that's 2.23. So I'm going to write that down, 2.23. 
And then what did we say the square root of 3 was? Did you guys memorize that yet? Yeah, it's 1.73, right? So the square root of 3 is about right here, isn't it? That's the square root of 3 because it's about 1.73. Um, the square root of 5 is about 2.3, so that's somewhere here. And then 2.5 is actually right here. So then if I were to write these from least to greatest, I would say square root of 3, square root of 5, and 2.5. All right, I'm going to stop the video, and I want you guys to try to do problem number 6 on your own. Okay.